Okay, guys, it's been six months since we, we spoke uh, last time. La Petita Ada on Crypto Tema channel. Hi, thank you so much for having me again. Wow, already six months. <laughs> yeah. That's a lot. Um, I'm super happy to be here. Uh, I'm doing great. What about you? Too oh. busy. But when you are tired, uh, when you didn't sleep, when you feel bad or something, you just look uh, your wallet and everything is fine. <laughs> yes, you and go blind. <laughs> I don't need pills. I don't need pills or something. Just, ju I just check my wallet and everything is okay. So I know, I know you don't have a uh, lot of time, uh, but uh, La Petite Ada, uh, tell me about Solana. No, it's joke. It's joke. Everybody speak just about <laughs> uh, like, mm, well. <laughs> about Solana. <laughs> You're but, doing great, uh, actually. Now, <laughs> yeah. what do you think uh, about Cardano? Uh, can Car Cardano be again uh, the main topic? The main topic in in crypto space, like uh, like few years ago. You remember when everybody sp spoke only about Cardano, Cardano, Cardano. What about that narrative? At the moment, nobody speak about uh, Ethereum. You know, everybody speak just about Solana, but. I would like to speak about Cardano. Well, I think Cardano, uh, well, I believe it has the potential to perform exceptionally this time. They're doing a lot of new things, especially because of the governance space. And we are pioneers on that, which is which is amazing. They are involved in the community to have a vote. I mean, they're peer reviewed. They're a third generation blockchain. They have a, a great approach to bank the unbanked and a lot of projects in Af Africa as well. So I think they have a very, very nice mission and they're here to stay building slowly. But I know everyone says that they are a ghost chain or they're building super slow, but they're doing this because they want to build something that stays, that is strong enough. And, and there's a lot of things going on on Cardano. Yes, yeah, the, the most popular stable coin in the space. No, it's joke. It's joke. It's But it's good joke. But, but it's I, coming. I'm it's always, coming. Don't I'm, worry. I'm always DCA uh, when when is Cardano uh, on on the table, but uh, you are the one of the most popular uh, Cardano content uh, creator in in this space, and uh, I believe you you track some other project on Cardano because it's my my favorite part of the day when I make some investigation or something to find some some good project on on Cardano. Uh, six months ago when we spoke, uh, I told you about uh, two project I love. Uh, it's uh, project book and uh, project new. Now, uh, six months later, uh, I'm so happy to be part of that two, two project. What do you think about book? Do you know anything? Well, book is an, an incredible project. I no competition. What, no, they're doing something remarkable. I mean, um, you know, with Kindle and this kind of similar platforms, you don't own your books and stuff. So what they're doing is amazing. I really like um, that project and also Noom it's doing great now um, you know this is I don't know if, if people want to know they're a music streaming platform so you can where if you're an artist you can sell your music and and your IP rights your fans or investors as NFTs I mean if, if you want to support an artist it's an incredible way to do it because you invest on this artist and you can even share in their success and where there is, I don't know if you if you saw they they have the record store which is going super nice it's is a very nice platform I'm I'm actually um uh, working on the paperwork to put um, my song on the record store they recently pre-launched the distribution platform which is super cool so you should stay tuned um, if you're very interested in music or if you you're an artist or you just only enjoy music. Um, so this your, is next, <laughs> your next uh, Mariah, Mariah Carey? <laughs> no, I will not compare myself to Mariah Carey. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but you know what's interesting about Book and Yum? I track everything uh, Ryan, Jones, uh, Ryan Jones did and everything uh, what Josh and team in Book uh, did. It's not project... Uh, two weeks old. It's they work few years on that project, and they never spoke about price. They never spoke about some price prediction, uh, about token price, about uh, something. Uh, you, you know what I mean? They they speak they speak only about project, 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 and that's that's what what I love there. Uh, tell me, uh, is there anything uh, else on uh, Cardano network uh, you you like? I saw uh, after. After 
uh, after Ben Armstrong uh, leave uh, Bitboy Crypto, Crypto, and now they change, uh, they rebrand the whole uh, whole page. Uh, in last few week, uh, they 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 spoke lots of things about Cardano, about Cardano project. That there's big focus on lots of big channel. I saw in last month, uh, lots of people start talk about uh, Cardano project, about low cap project, about new projects, about, uh, I don't know, two months ago, nobody knew about the uh, top tools page. Now, now everybody know that you must go on top tools to check something about Cardano project or something, you know? Yeah, exactly. I mean, there's a lot of cool and great projects uh, in Cardano. Uh, I'm also building something myself. Uh, so you should definitely go and check it out. It she didn't pay me. It's not paid promotion. But no, you, no, it's not fake But you can tell me now. But you can tell me now. <laughs> what are you doing? It's like a very cool use case for for my project. Uh, it is a token gating service. That means you can share exclusive content with your community super fast and easily. I will try to explain this like in not a super dev or super crypto way, <laughs> so everyone understand. <laughs> explain to me like I'm five years old. Yes. So a token gating means gate. It's like a door and and token. Well, you know tokens. NFTs or or FTs, whatever. So you can use these to share exclusive content with your communities. So, for example, now that we are um, talking about the record store and and Bukayo, um, let me explain to you that how how could this this work? Uh, so if you're a writer and you I have am. your book. I know. <laughs> so if you're a writer and you have your book on the record store, a great book, by the way. Yeah, but believe me, off topic. In the last 12 years, I wrote 14 books. Wow. Yeah, but listen, listen to this story. In last, I wrote 14 books. Uh, I earned more on book token in last four <laughs> weeks, in last four weeks than I earned with 14 books in all my life. Wow. Well, congratulations <laughs> for that. Can you but believe I'm super that? I'm happy you put your book on Book.io. This is awesome. I will. I will. So now that you have your book there, you could use Vault 3, which is what I'm building, uh, to share exclusive data with your token holders or with the holders of your, of your book. You just have to customize the access condition to this data, which is having your book, for example. And you can share whatever you want to share with them. It's a way to communicate with the people that, believe in you and and bought your book. And um, I mean, it's open for whatever you want to share. So you can share uh, a pre-release or a sneak peek of the second version of the book or or a video explaining your inspiration on, on what, why you, you wrote that book or whatever you want to share with them. And um, also me as a musician, um, I can leverage the people that buy my NFT on the record store to to also share with them uh, pre-releases of my next song or the lyrics or or blooper videos or an exclusive video of the song you know whatever you want to share or if you are a content creator you can share uh, educational content and uh, a lot of things we have a uh, several different like access policies different access policies so um, you can, it's already live. So you can go and check it out. You said it's for free at the moment. So if you want to use it and share it, it, it works exactly like a uh, WeTransfer or Google Drive. You know, when you, you, first of all, you have to gather all these emails and it's not very cumbersome. Like you, probably no one wants to give you their emails anymore. So what you can do is the UI is, is super similar to WeTransfer. It's very easy to use. Um, you can share files, average, like media data, whatever you want to share. And yeah, that's kind of uh, what I'm building now. It's an infrastructure to reduce cost of building for projects in Cardano. So it's good to know. It's good to know. It's good to know. That that means first step is uh, Cardano content creator. Next step is uh, your own song on Cardano blockchain or some project like I don't know new. And then third step is your own project. What's the fourth yes. step? <laughs> Oh my God. Hmm, that's hard. I don't know. <laughs> okay. Uh, tell me about, uh, about Cardano one more thing. And then we are, then we are finished uh, because there was lots of FUD in the last, last few months about Cardano is that there's nothing happened on Cardano. 
prices, debt and everything. And then I saw Cardano conference in Dubai. I saw lots of energy, lots of positive people, lots of all Cardano community there, uh, strong believe in future tell me tell me your opinion i was actually there in dubai yeah, i know that, that that's what that's why i ask you it's something like after that conference i saw oh my god these people are serious in bear market in last year i i think 95 percent of all crypto projects they, they had some problem some hack some attack some scandal some fight between creators some fight between founders but there was lots of lots of scandal lots of things but in, in cardano nothing nothing they no just maybe go, that's go, why go. they always say we're a ghost chain because we don't have this scandals <laughs> yeah but no um and that's what i meant before um we have a super strong community and everyone that's in cardano are super nice and kind so they're always open to help other people and other projects that wants to wants to build in cardano so I have never um, uh, talked to someone that's rude or or don't want to help. Or even if you have questions or you don't understand something, they're always open to help, um, which um, helps a lot in when you are in the bear market because you have a strong community that helps you stay there and gain the strength you you need to be there and stay there, which I appreciate a lot. And now uh, I'm in the summit. Uh, you could see that. And you, you could see the community was there. Everyone were super happy. We are all friends. I have met a lot of friends in, in Cardano. And as I told you, they're super nice. They're always open to help. And uh, at the summit, you can you could taste that. And um, if you want to know more about Cardano... Follow yeah. Mama Tita Ada. <laughs> Follow me. Yeah. <laughs> no, uh, it kidding. was, I think, two weeks ago. Everybody spoke about uh, new narrative, about the gaming project, about uh, everybody speak like uh, like two years ago about metaverse narrative, and then now everybody speak about gaming, 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 and and I talked to my community. Okay, calm down, guys. What what if next narrative is Cardano and Cardano projects? Nobody speak about it. I told them what about that. What if Cardano is next narrative? It, the bull market is starting. Uh, Cardano prices are looking good. Everyone's talking about that. We're we're doing great, and I have the feeling that everyone will speak about Cardano in the next few months. On that moment when everybody starts speak about Cardano again, I believe we'll speak here me and you about lots of that of news again. It was pleasure last time. It was pleasure now, and uh, see you next time. Yes. Totally. Bye-bye. Bye, guys. Thank you.